Hey there guys, I'm making this tutorial today to demonstrate how to ex to replace external graphics for characters and even stages since that's always been one big thing for anybody doing any kind of PSAs. So depending on whatever character you want, it's it's actually really, really simple. You can see here that all characters and even stages have this EF file. Either EF or it's either an ARC or a PRES file. So when you open down this EFLS file, you can see that this is all the external graphic names. And if you wanted to replace any characters for any PSA or stage, it's as simple as just exporting it to wherever you want it to go. And for this, I'm putting it in this folder. Now you see Lucario's graphics has all of his things, which I'm going to export them now for a later demonstration. Just rename them to Luke. Alright. Now you can actually view, if you have a hex editor, which I'll include a link to it in this the description, you can see right for these right here. When you open them it shows you the graphic names. The graphic names are actually right here. For the Miss Data Zero in both of them. But when you look at Miss Data One you can see that the names appear too. For his Ganon's Majinkin, which is his warlock punch. You can see those graphics this the graphic starts here and the graphic is actually composed of smaller graphics these the fire the fire the subo haretsu and smoke those four graphics make up the warlock punch in its entirety the same thing for lucario this lucario hado is his aura palm it's that aura that appears at all times in his palms. These are the four graphics that make it up. So for any character if you actually wanna edit a graphic for some calling up some external graphics that have models with PSA you can edit out the graphic so when you call up the graphic effect that has a model only the model appears. So it lets you do more with PSA. So if you wanted to remove a graphic from a character entirely, just highlight where it says the main graphic, which for him it's Hado. As you see right here. For that you simply have to highlight it and then fill in selection for both of them. and then save them as whatever you want and then for this this part so that Lucario will no longer have this Lucario Hado just replace this Miss Data Zero with this the one that would be in here it didn't save properly. So this would be the new EFLS. And you can see that his Hado becomes a blank graphic. So when you replace Miss Data 1 with the new Miss Data 1, it'll make it so that this graphic never appears. And here's a demonstration of it. Lucario no longer has either one of his aura palms in these pictures. Now I'm going to explain swapping external graphics like here. Notice he has Ganondorf's entry graphic, but Ganondorf doesn't have to be in the battle. 
for swapping the graphics, it's the same. It's just replacing Lucario's Miss Data Zero with Ganon's, and the same for his Miss Data One. With that, it'll it'll keep it'll give Lucario all of Ganon's graphics. Since this first one is supposed to be where Lucario's aura sphere is, at the beginning of the battle he'll have a flashing purple graphic, but it'll go away right after anyway. So if you want to move around and edit these graphics in any way, save this as whatever, and then go to PSA, and then open it. Okay, so you can go to any of the sub actions or anything that has that would use Lucaro's external graphics or anything of the sort, like here, his attack high. This is that aura graphic that would be on his foot. But his the file ID never changes even if you swap by swap since Lucario's graphic file ID is 22, it's going to stay 22, even if he has somebody else's graphic effects. But he's calling up graphics 6, 2, and 3, which would, this is 2, this is 3, and this is 6. This is, uh, this is the ground side B, and then this is the hold and the, the startup and the hold of the Warlock Punch. So he'll use those three graphics on his foot during this attack. It's just a matter of changing the graphic ID number for the character and keeping the file ID as the initial that the character always has. And that's all there is to characters. And for stages, it's the exact same thing. This picture shows him with Ganon's and then I replaced Alomar's graphics with Lucario's graphics. This is that infinite palm graphic Lucario has and it appears when a Pikmin dies or I haven't checked exactly which situation but the graphic will always appear there. For stages it's the exact same thing of going to this and exporting them. The only thing you have to look out for is that with stages you can't control which graphic gets called up. So you have to find which ones line up. So for Skyworld, graphics 1, 1 is the stage being damaged, 2 is the stage being broken, 3 I'm not sure about, but 4 is when the stage piece returns. For this, it's when the stage breaks and these two are glows, I believe, when the Pokemon appear and disappear from the background. So when this was swapped over this stage, this was the result of it. These. When the stage is damaged, when it's broken, and when it reappears. But you can see bright, this bright flash, which um, for that the graphic can actually be customized and edited. So turning this, this graphic into this one to remove the flash. So for this, you j you only need that Miss Data one. So I'll be editing that now. Which this is where it gets more difficult. I'll keep Lucario's open as well because I did edit that too. Okay, so that bright flash, this is the, this would be, oh, my mistake, I had the wrong one. This is the graphic for when it's damaged. 
and you can see in this picture compared to the one back here this is made up of you can tell the graphics is made out of this is made out of Trash, Iwa, Siogeki, and Tsukimuri which it's all Japanese so it barely makes sense but you can see that there's the white smoke, the beige smoke, the rocks, and this flash. And for this one, I hexed out Frash. Frash 01 alone. And when you hex out individual graphic pieces, it removes individual graphics. So hexing this out by filling it in and saving this, remove this flash from appearing when damaging the stage. And other, aside from that, you can't really control what graphics stages use, and the graphics are usually big. So that's one big problem with editing stage graphics. It's, it's a lot less controlled. You can't add anything to it, you can only take away. Um, like for this one, I edited Lucario's aura by hexing out his aura blue and his his aura main and I should have a picture of that somewhere of what it looked like so this one see when I hexed out the aura main and aura blue it removed the the main and the blue graphic so it only left this this core, this core dark purple swirl, and there's a little red swirl that appears every now and then, but when you edit the graphics, you can do things like this by removing individual things, and this applies to any single Miss Data 1 in any EF file for any character or stage, so you can remove individual graphics, you can't put in graphics from other characters, but you can take away and that even applies to the general graphics in the entire game since the game used it in the COM3 the game uses the EF.BRES for all the graphics in the game so you can even fully customize all the graphics by taking away certain aspects because like this this purple light actually looks looks really it looks a lot cooler on Lucario than the big blue flaming ball and there's not much else to editing graphics it's pretty straightforward copy paste and if for a character then doing the right PSAs and if for a stage it's just a matter of graphics conveniently lining up for you and a little side note as well since I'm talking about it because people port other characters over and if you ever want to port um, a sound from one one character or stage to another miss data to control sound I'm just not I'm not entirely sure how to edit this at the moment but you can always experiment by exporting this and replacing it on a character or stage to carry over sound effects because this controls all the sounds of the character that's that's all for graphic effects editing and a little extra about giving different characters different sound files and for characters it, PSA is the easiest way to work with it stages it's a matter of convenience and figuring out what works with what or designing a stage around swapped effects and things like that and that's all for this and I hope this helps everybody and can lead to a lot of new things with PSAs and even some stage hackers. That's all.